today, June. Hell, I don't know what day it is. I know I'm on my eighth day in Jamaica. Use my GoPro camera, see how long this is gonna last. It looks like I'm gonna be able to uh, use this GoPro and film the hike all the way up Blue Mountain. Hell, the hike down Blue Mountain, should I say. That's even better. Because I can hike it non stop coming down. Going up. I'm going to probably have to take one. Maybe two breaks. If it's really hot. But I'm, if I can find that guy that's going to go up there with me this coming Saturday. Because today's Wednesday. We're going to take off Saturday. But I'm going to take you where the drinking water is at. Fresh drinking water. They say it's a long ways. They say, why don't you just get it in your house? Well, it goes through like 10 buckets. The hoses, everything else. By the time it gets to your drinking water, I just go rather right to the well. Left my video cam, my other video camera down there being charged up. Come back, probably gone. You know what? I found my, uh, I left my bedroom door opened up with my windows opened up in my room. Kind of musty, has a little smell. Of course, any wooden house has smell. And, uh, Woke up this morning and the windows were closed. All my windows were closed. My door was closed. What the hell? And I don't know if I did this. Found the zipper opened up a little bit on my backpack where I have my money at, but nothing was missing. But I don't think nobody came in my room. I think it was probably me. But I found my zipper unzipped many times, so I'm not going to accuse anybody going through my shit while I was sleeping last night. But they did shut my door, shut my, shut my windows. So I'm going to do it tonight again. Hopefully they come back and try to do it again and say, Don't touch that door, okay? Just leave it open. If you want me to leave, go ahead. Well, that's how they drive. Stand out of the way, too, man, when they come flying by you. You're just going to get run over, probably. Well, that's what I've been doing. I gotta let my shower bag dry out. It's getting a little sticky on the bottom. I washed it yesterday and it's still a little sticky. But uh, I just been taking my Sea to Summit shower bag and sending it out in the sun. But I've been hanging it. And you're supposed to leave that bag on the ground to get it hot. I've been taking cold showers every day, but by the time you walk for six hours, hike for six hours a day up here, you get a little stinky, man. That cold water sort of feels good on you. I want you to look at my goddamn face, too, man. Look at my face. I'm getting old like the Jamaicans are looking, man. Don't know why, man. My face is wrinkled up, but I think what it is... I think it's the fucking sun up here. 
I don't have no lotion for my nose and it's all dried up. Kind of ugly looking. Feels so weird. You know, I, I smoke marijuana in the mountains of Mexico all over the place. I usually stop somewhere. Just roll up a joint. But to be walking and smoking weed for the last eight days, just like it's just nothing in front of everybody. It feels weird, folks. Kind of enjoying it, man. Having that freedom to... Smoke every, anywhere and everywhere you want to. <laughs> anywhere and everywhere. Uh, I think you guys already seen this video. Do you know what? You don't have to see this video if you don't want to. You can go back up to my other videos. And you've already seen this walk. Nice eucalyptus trees. Say it's all natural too. Now, I've never even heard of eucalyptus furniture, have you? I haven't. Matter of fact, I've never seen anything made from eucalyptus. Only eucalyptus oil. There's a little bit of blue sky right there above me. But I bet you in an hour or two hours it's going to be cloudy all day. Need to get off my ass today or tomorrow and wash some clothes. But he says there's a shitload of water, so I might take advantage of it and wash my clothes today. Rest. Go to the school. Now, I don't know which hostel you'd want to pick. You can pick one that is really, oh, you got some, you got some people there, but a couple of them there. But you can go there and uh, be unsocial to everybody. But if you stay there, you stay at another other hostel, you're more than welcome to walk up to where I'm staying at and, and meet the cocoa bean farmers. Should I see the coffee bean? But my place where I'm staying at, every night, all the growers, Matter of fact, the people in the other town that you seen my other video yesterday. By the school. They all come up there to my place. Hi, how are you doing? Yeah, I don't even have no drinking water right now. So it's going to be a long hike back. It's going to be a long hike back, man, without no drink water. I can feel it already. I 
Now they say you can drink the water in Jamaica, which I already have probably. Because they gave me some, uh, one night they gave me some juice to drink with my meal. And uh, I'm pretty sure they used the water. But I, I don't feel sick. It's just I know it's the food I ate the other day. Yeah, usually that's where I'm going to get the water at. Right over there. So I even got. Plus, I want to see how long this GoPro camera is going to last on the battery. Well, I'm glad I didn't trade this man yesterday. Glad he was hesitant taking it too. I don't like the video quality of the GoPro. But when I'm gonna be hiking, going to Blue Mountain in a pair of sandals, Mitch, I hurt my foot. Around the very bottom right there, I stepped on a pointed rock two days ago. And yesterday I probably stepped on that same goddamn pointed rock. And uh, it made me stop and drop to my knees almost gone. Fuck, that hurt. And today, I'm feeling that pain. Damn, I am feeling that pain. I know I bruised the shit out of my fucking foot. How are you doing today? You having a good day? You want to roll this? You want to roll a joint up? I'm going to look one. All right. All right, I got one. If you want to smoke one. All right. Go and go get some water. Hey, let me give you a joint. <coughs> Think I thought I had a joint. Nope, I left everything there, guy. I left it in my room. Later on. All right. Sorry. Oh shit, man, I don't have a fucking joint this morning. Oh, I got this one. Yeah, it'll make, I'll get back home with it. I left my weed in my room. Lots of weed. Hell, and I still have more coming. Cut this whole place down and there's nothing growing. Just a couple of cocoa plants. Look at that. I call it cocoa. I shouldn't be calling it cocoa. I should be calling it coffee. Coffee plants. I'm thinking about cocaine. <laughs> well, coffee's like cocaine. Very addictive. You try one drink of coffee, you're gonna be doing coffee the rest of your life. You try one drink, one line of cocaine, you're gonna be doing cocaine most of your life. Cause you'll end up finding yourself dead broke out in the streets or in jail. One of the two. Now women, I've seen, uh, I've seen women walking up here by themselves, smoking joints from uh, 
from other countries and uh, they're not afraid you know there's only well you know that that guy in the bar where on my last videos where you you buy a drink you get free food he uh I talked to him yesterday and offered him a joint we sat back and we talked for a little while he's a good guy but beware everybody if a Jamaican walks up to you and he's doing this stuff and he gets right in your face and does this to you uh, best thing to do and I found this out in Mexico when somebody does that to you you sort of just give them way listen to what they say when they're done talking to you hopefully they didn't threaten you you just back away and just try to leave as soon as you can possibly go because people like that I don't like being around them because that alcohol I've seen alcohol turn good people into very 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 mean people and I could see it in the Jamaican's eyes when they're drunk. And I got approached by another drunk yesterday. And uh, he was all shit-faced drunk. He owned the store. And he did that same thing. He got right in my face. And uh, I don't know what the purpose of it is. But he was shit-faced drunk, telling me to go buy him a beer. I just don't like being around those type of people. Now, if he was sober, I'd probably go, yeah, I'll buy you a beer. But when you can't walk and you stagger up to somebody and you stick your face right into them like, you, like you're bigger and meaner and badder than they are, I tell you, man, I just, I don't move. I just stare in their eyes, man. Look in their eyes. They eventually will go away. If you look on the ground, they know they whipped your ass. So you never look away from anybody when they approach you. Don't ever be a coward. You just stare them down, and they'll eventually be the ones who'll look on the ground. Good advice for everybody. I don't... I don't know how they treat the women up here because I haven't seen... But they are talking sweet talk to the women up here. The Jamaicans are talking sweet talk to the, women, the white women up here. I've already seen that. Of course, even in USA, too. Is that kind of weird how the, the color, the black, they want the white women? I don't see that. You know, I'm not prejudiced with white women. But, you know, I've seen some beautiful black women, too. You know, they're... I'm not, I don't want to offend nobody. I'm just speaking my piece, okay? I've seen more white skin women from around the world that do have a more beautiful face. But I've seen some black women that have some very, very beautiful faces. But not too many of them. But I've seen more Mexican, the Spaniards from France and, and, and from Spain that moved to Mexico, immigrated. Whew. Well, I've seen some beautiful women down there. Some gorgeous women in Mexico. In the United States, of course, I have too, but, you know, all the, all those beautiful women, those gorgeous, gorgeous women, a lot of them are rich bitches. Yeah, they're very rich. They go out and they, they're gold diggers, all right? They're in Mexico, beautiful women. 
They just want somebody to raise their children up, provide clothes and food, and they're happy. Yeah, I think my wife was a gold digger. As soon as I became, as soon as I lost my gold, she found somebody else with a gold mine. The wind in Jamaica blows in all directions up here, so be warned. And it changes. All of the time. One reason why I left is because the landlord, he was, or should I say the owner of the place, he was, uh, they all, every day they rake up the ground. They take all the leaves up and they burn it. Which I told him, don't burn it once you make some methane gas and heat your house up and cook clothes with. <laughs> 